country, what people don't realise, if he gets that change of flag, he changes our constitution, and that aligns us with America. And what it does, it aligns us with martial law. So it takes us away from the laws of England that we know, and are under, and takes us into the American martial law. And that just can't happen, because in America, what's happening there, people are getting arrested now for farming rain, rainwater off the roofs. They're getting arrested for growing gardens in their front yards. We cannot allow that to happen. Today and this last week, we've seen a lot of deaths of our whales. And to me, the whales have come to tell us a big, a big message. And they're our food trail. Without the ocean, without the land, without them, we all don't exist. So these corporate people that are laying down their Monsanto, that are laying down all these things and the things in the ocean, in the ocean they've got submarines, I believe, laying fiber optic cable coming in from America now. And who's to say these aren't affecting the sonar of our whales? So they're the food trail. They're the food trail we don't look at. We have a flag in this country. We have a constitution in this country already. And so we have to stop John Key changing our flag to bring in, that's the f final thing that they need for the TP, P, is the flag change. Because if they have a flag, they take us into being a republic. We cannot allow that to happen. We have a constitution that's been in this country since right back in 1706. It was put into cement in 1835 by King George. That flag is known and it flies. We have no need to change the flag that we have. Or if we do, go back to the constitutional flag that we have in this country. So please back that because that's a hidden agenda. That's the smoking mirror that John Key is using against all this.